So you have some dead time and you know, you're trapped in your house. Why not use that time to get serious about your prepping? At least get some basic prepping. Even if you live in an apartment or a small thing, there's still some tiny things you could do right now that are just smart. Um, one of the things I'm going to talk about is you need a few basic books. My friend turned me on to this one, Whoop, right here, The Pocket Reference. And I'll link that in the description, but this book, if you were to ever build anything or do anything, it is amazing how much stuff is packed in this little tiny book. A lot of contractors use this, but it has a bunch of stuff. I mean, just like first aid, ropes, uh, conversions, uh, charts all over the place. It is an unbelievably useful book and it even has some uh, first aid stuff so if you were to like stick one book in either a bug out bag or something small man this thing has everything you can think of it is amazing how much information they got in this little book uh, my Rob my friend Rob turned me on to that so it's pretty cool uh, the other thing I'm going to talk to you about is uh, there is a bunch of free ebooks out there or free PDFs and it's a good time to grab those because, you know, if there's a real national emergency, it's not so much that, um, there, there, there's multiple reasons, but the internet could get so bogged down that it basically is useless. The people could get sick that actually go in and make the internet work. Uh, you know, that is a realistic possibility, or they just want to stay home and take care of their families and aren't going in anymore because the world got crazy. Those kind of things is all of a sudden stuff we take for granted is just gone one day. So I'm going to advise you to like load up as many free PDFs and Kindles as you can. Uh, put them on a Kindle or uh, whatever you're using. Or even move them onto a thumb drive. And there's a few books that even you might want to consider just getting in paperback. If there is major power issues or outages or oil crises or whatever the hell's coming after this. It's smart to prep that and get as much information as you can now. So you can get on uh, Amazon and there's a lot of free books. You might not know that. There's a bunch of different free books. And there's also um, there's a bunch of uh, PDFs that are just like floating around the internet that you can download for free. And I'll link you to a list uh, I have of, I think there's like 40 or 50 emergency books in there. So I'm going to include a link to, there's probably about 60, 70 survival PDF books here. These are all free. My friend had the foresight to uh, grab these and put them up in a link share. Sometimes you got to try a few times to get them out of here because there's a lot. Uh, or just pick and choose what you want. But anyway, I'll include that for you guys. So um, I would say grab this and move them over to your iPads and Kindles, man, or like I said, you might want to also consider getting a thumb drive and putting important information in there, maybe even moving over your family pictures and everything you find important like that that's irreplaceable. If you've got to split, everything's on a, fun, uh, a thumb drive and easy to keep track of, and you don't lose all your family photos and stuff. You have a lot of downtime, so use it right now. Get organized. So some things you can do uh, in this dead time is why don't you start getting more organized and start prepping. Like go through and actually not just your food but organize your emergency medical stuff and everything you might need. Also if you're going out shopping it's a great idea to get uh, things like this that you wouldn't really think of like uh, stuff for tooth pain relief. That stuff will go off the shelves when uh, when there's shortages and your dentist isn't going to work anymore things like that can be really useful and they're at the Dollar Tree for you know a buck you can stock up and get all kinds of stuff like you can get uh, this is that painkiller but also you can get the kind of uh, patch that you can fill in on your tooth until you can get to a dentist things like that so it's a good time you know after you stock your books to also get your medical stuff together and organize it just so you might just want to, even if you don't look at it, just download it now while you can. So take this opportunity to start doing some basic prepping instead of just like, you know, watching Tiger King or whatever the hell that thing is. Um, <laughs> you know, like, do something positive for your family and responsible. If you guys have uh, comments, 
that you know where people can get free books feel free to drop a link I'll uh, I'll see if uh, a lot of times YouTube blocks any links you drop so it might get lost I'll, I'll make sure I push it through the um, other thing you might want to consider is you know even if you have an iPad or a phone there's an old-school Kindle like I have one of the original Kindles that they they run on the same kind of technology as uh, the Etch-a-Sketch. Remember those little toys with the Etch-a-Sketch that you'd draw and you'd draw a picture and that picture would stay there forever until somebody shook it? Well, this kind of uses the same technology. I have these old Kindles that you don't even have to charge for two or three months. And when you charge it, they charge pretty fast. Um, I think they have new versions of those now, but the old school Kindles, you can still get them on eBay, probably dirt cheap and they're awesome they'll they'll last forever um, so I'm gonna load a bunch of stuff they they're, they don't have any color they're just like black and white print but they're perfect for stocking books and getting that together so hopefully that's uh, one thing one other thing you could do is there are programs that let you rip YouTube videos and stuff like that if you have the time go get some important search around on prepping videos the ones you like and copy the videos um, and put them on a thumb drive so if you have access to a computer or power and you need to do something like you know oh my husband cut his leg wide open how the hell do I clean it out and do stitches you know there's a video for that so find that stuff out um, and just do some basic prepping right now everything's back on the shelves for a little bit but it's interesting if you read my comments uh, I had just done one about when the real food shortage is going to hit and one guy that commented was a trucker and he's like you know I've gone from shipping 10 pallets a day to 7 to 5 pallets a day um, so they're not getting supplies in the truckers are telling me hey man <laughs> it's already half supplied and that's just the start this is this is coming so get out, stock up what you can now, get some emergency, just basic emergency medical stuff, get some uh, dental stuff, right? Because I have a friend who's a dentist that they just closed him, you know, like uh, he's pretty much done. So if you have a tooth emergency, you're screwed. You know, your buddy's going to be pulling it out with some pliers or something. So there's some basic uh, stuff you could do to patch it up until you can get to a dentist or they reopen, stuff like that. Just some basic, basic stuff that you should be doing instead of... Uh, sitting around bin watching TV. Now, obviously, bin watch good videos. That's fine. Feel free to watch all the gardening videos you want and stuff like that, but, uh, you know, take this serious. Just use this time to do something constructive. Love you guys. Hang in there. Oh, I'm going to show you one other thing that is a little off topic, but I think it's kind of cool. Is This is called a water bandit. You know what this is? And a lot of times you use this at RV parks where if you have a stripped... Uh, Something like a stripped water thing where you can't screw a hose onto, uh, it causes a real problem. So what this is designed for is you can use rusted and stripped out water and attach to it. And this is a very good prep thing to have, I think, because in time your water faucets get funky and you don't know where you're going to wind up and you're going to be trying to get water where you can. It's super small, light. I, uh, I think it's a really smart thing to just kind of own it. You know, there's, there's different kinds of prepping. There's the bug in where you're just trying to compile stuff in your house. And then there's the bug out if you can't stay at your house. You know, you're going to leave everything behind but the basics. But this is a good bug in kind of thing. You never know when uh, when that could come in useful. Anyway, I'll, I'll link it in the description if you, you want to see it. Anyway, love you guys. Hang in there. Take care of each other. Oh, obviously, if you're going to buy something, go through my Amazon link. I'd appreciate it. It's keeping uh, the channel afloat. And... Uh, if you want to buy some woodwork, I'm still selling some woodworking. I've sold a little bit. It helps uh, keep things afloat while my practice is closed. So thank you. Bye, guys.